Well, hey everyone, welcome back to The Able Gardener and welcome back to my grow room. Now, I haven't done very many videos from my grow room this year and that's because I didn't think this room had adequate lighting. So I did pick up a couple of lights off of Amazon. They're just for filming videos inside and it's a little bit bright. I'll have to fool around with the different, uh, the different filters that come with it and see which ones work best. Right now, I'm just using the bright white light and <laughs> shining in my eyes. So another thing, it runs off a of battery. So if the battery goes dead, the light will go out if I'm sitting here and, and taping too long. But let's get on with uh, the new year and happy new year, everybody. And with the new year, I know that if you're a gardener, your thoughts turn to your coming garden and your seeds, what you're going to plant and going through seed catalogs and coming up with a new seed order. But one thing that I wanted to do was check some of my old seeds before I put in a new order and see if my old seeds are still viable. Now all that takes is just a very simple germination test that you can do in your home. All you need is some water, a paper towel, and a plastic bag, and you've got your germination test down. But before I get started, let me just discuss a few reasons why my seeds may not be viable. Well, for one thing, my seeds, like I said, may just be old. Uh, for another, I may have harvested or processed or even stored my seeds incorrectly. And lastly, the vegetables where the seeds came from may not have been pollinated fully while it was flowering. Of course, all seeds don't have a 100% germination rate, and I really wish they did. Usually it's somewhere down between either 65, up, well, all the way up to 85%. And I noticed that my rhubarb seeds that I get from Seeds Now, and Seeds Now always puts a germination rate on the front of the packet, which I kind of like that, says that my rhubarb is 85%, but I ordered these two years ago. So, of course, the germination goes down with time. And I should plant these this year if I want any of the rhubarb seeds to come up. So just remember that the longer you have your seeds, the more the germination rate is going to go down. Well, let me go ahead and get started with my first germination test. And all I need is a plastic bag, a paper towel, and some water, and then my seeds. And in this case, I'm going to test my corn. I got this from a friend. Well, it says 2014 on here. And I want to test this because I do want to plant corn this year, but I don't want to go out and... Uh, plant a whole lot of rows and then not have the corn come up. So that's why I'm testing this corn. So I'm going to bring you a little bit closer and show you how I'm going to set up this test. Now, of course, my germination test is going to take a while, probably anywhere between 7 and 15 to 21 days. But since most seeds will germinate within 7 to 10 days, I don't think I'm going to have to wait that long. I'll be putting my paper towel in a bowl for now, just so I don't get water all over my table. And you don't need to put very much water on the paper towel, but if it's soaked, then go ahead and wring the towel out a little bit. I'm going to open up my paper towel so I have a lot of it to fold over my seeds. A lot of times, if you're working with larger seeds like this corn or rounded seeds, when you take them out of the bag to check them, a lot of times they'll roll right off the paper towel. Usually when I do a germination test, I only test 10 seeds. But for some reason, with the case of my corn, I want to test 20. I'm going to fold this paper towel over the top and then I'm going to fold the whole thing over again and that way when I go to check my seeds I'll just take them out with the folded side up or actually the folded side down and that way none of the seeds will fall out and then I'm just going to fold it over and write on the top the date and what I have in there I don't have to put the year, but for some reason I just did. Well, now that I have my test ready to go, the last thing I'm going to need is heat. With temperature being very important for germination, I'm going to put my seeds on a heat mat that I have on a shelf in my grow room. Now, if you already use a heat mat, you'll know how much it heats up the temperature of anything that sits on top of it. Now, if you don't have a heat mat to use, try and find somewhere else in your house that's a little bit warmer than any other place. Say the top of your refrigerator or maybe somewhere near the furnace. Maybe even a, a sunny window where the ledge gets a little bit warmer. Now, if you still can't find that place in your house that's warm enough for your seeds to germinate, one thing you can do is use just a couple of cheap seed trays. In the bottom one, put either a cheap rope light or Christmas tree lights will work also. Of course, get them plugged in. Put the top one on. Put your germination test in the top. If they still don't warm up enough, then put something heavy on top of them, like a, well, a hand towel or a kitchen towel, something like that. Hold them down against that heat so they can start germinating. Well, I do have a couple of germination tests that I've had on the heat for three days. So I'll bring you closer and we'll take a look at these guys. Well, here are my okra seeds that I wanted to test. And like I said, I started them three days ago. Started them on the 29th and today is the 1st. 
So let's see what the okra is doing. These guys readily roll off the paper towel. Well, germination test for my okra seeds is going really well. Yesterday when I checked them, they were at 80%. So only eight seeds have started growing. And today they are at 100%. I have one little last seed that's just starting to put out a root. So 100% germination on my okra seeds. So that's great. I'm going to put them back for now, but later on what I'll be doing is planting them in some soil in probably a six cell pot. Well, I've got some pumpkin seeds that I was going to throw out, but I thought I'd check them just to see if they would grow. Now the problem I thought I would have with my pumpkin seeds isn't the way I harvested them, but the way I stored them. Because I put them all together in a bag, forgot all about them, and they started getting all moldy. You can see the mold that's still on the seeds. But lo and behold, a lot of these pumpkin seeds are starting to grow. So I put 10 seeds down here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight seeds starting to grow. No doubt the other two probably will also. So right now I have 80% germination rate. So that's pretty good for a lot of seeds that I thought were garbage and I was just going to throw away. Well, speaking of heat and temperature, most vegetable seeds will start germinating at right around 75 degrees. A few exceptions would be like my corn and my okra, which like to germinate at 95 degrees. And I know it can be a little hard to get temperatures that high when you're doing the germination test, but just fudge around a little bit, like I said, with your Christmas tree lights or your rope light, heat mat, whatever you have, and try and get the optimum temperature for whatever seed you're trying to germinate. Well, another good thing about running a germination test, especially if you do it, say, six to eight weeks before the date of your last frost, Whatever seeds do germinate, you can go ahead and plant them in some soil, and those can be some of your first transplants into your garden. Well, everyone, that's it for me this afternoon. If you have any comments or questions, please put them below. If you like my video, please hit like, and I will be talking to you later. And Happy New Year, guys. Bye-bye.